this is another development update. Unfortunately, today it's a little bit more abstract and I can't show you execution and make it look nice, but um, I thought I would quickly go through what's happened. So some of these files are redundant, like this data.dat. What I was trying to do was I was trying to extract the config out of the code so that we could just have um, a config file that could be edited manually and independent of the logic. So we've got this separate new class experiment manager message and um, this is just a class to handle communications between the application and the experiment manager. And at the moment that's pretty light, there's not much there, but that initial part is necessary to create the experiment in the first place, which is something that we need to do in order to do the save mechanism, which is what I'm working on. Uh, the next thing is this relay commands file. This is pretty big. So what we've done here is, um, I'll just skip down to the bottom here. So what this file is, is it's a list, it's, it's a dictionary of functions. So we've got this functions dict here, and these are all different functions that the relay server may execute um, specifically to do with executing commands that are related to the XPS C8 controller. Um, and the good thing about this, that's really powerful about it is um, these functions can be called from a dictionary with the arguments separately. And this is important because in the relay server file, I was getting close to a thousand lines of code and it was getting quite annoying. So um, this is taking a whole lot of functions out that are all to do with one another and um, making it easy to manage the code. So that's what each of these functions are here, all these green ones on the right. Uh, and I've also tried to include doc strings now to um, make my code quality a bit better, make it easy to understand what's going on. Also, um, if help is required, like if you're trying to issue a command and you don't know how to do it, um, I've got this help command up here, and this will either list out all the functions available, or if you type in a particular help topic, it will print out this doc string that correlates with that particular um, function that you want to execute or that you want to know more about. So that's the relay commands um, Python file. That's where most of the work is that I've done today. Then the relay server had to be updated um, because I externalized stuff. So um, we've now got this import config as CFG and import relay commands as RCX. So these are the two new things from today. Um, so the config file which I'll get to in a moment, just has some data that's necessary um, for the application to work uh, and may need to be editable from time to time by the users. Um, it's easy to put it here because it doesn't require any new GUI development or anything like that. It's just they can open a text editor and change that stuff. Um, so there's a lot of changes in here that are fairly small. Um, these two functions terminate relay server and close all other sockets. They're not implemented. Previously I was going to put them into the uh, external functions list, but they are less to do with um, XPS C8 commands and more to do with managing the relay server itself. So um, this one, for example, is terminate the relay server. So just make sure it shuts down gracefully and tells the controller that it's shutting down and that sort of thing. Um, as well as close all other sockets, this is something the relay server needs to do uh, because it's managing the sockets. Okay, so that's that piece of code. Then Sandbox, I was just using to test uh, things that's not particularly important. I, change that all the time. Um, this commands list, I have deleted it. 
and this should be oh yeah config.py don't know if i actually showed you this so commands list data is now in there um whereas that was just a text file before i've decided to create the config file as a python file um it's just easier to load in and it's just as easy to change so we've got group custom home positions here this is the default positions for the experiment um, set up so this is where the sample plane is oriented um, so it's facing the incoming beam um, and these are the groups that are available for use by the relay server i've disabled group one and group four um, but again you can come into this file and just edit it that um, comment that and then group one will be available and group four will be available uh, and they are the major changes for today